being outdoors is a struggle. It's a battle to survive on each and every day. By me being visually impaired, out of all these homeless shelters, there's only two that would allow me in. And one of them, you have to do a lottery every day. And so, if you know, you get frustrated going up there every day and you get in a lottery and your number don't come. And then this other one is, uh, they put you in on a Monday at five o'clock in the morning. And if you don't make it to the second floor, you have to leave Friday and you have to start all over again. And I think it's really unfair because there are a lot of physically challenged men and women out here that shelters will not accept hollering about insurance <coughs> or if you're in a wheelchair or you're blind or you have cerebral palsy and all of this. And it's really frustrating, especially when they say they always, that they, 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 they have a retail program for us. Listen, we get more reach out from a church where we can get something to eat uh, or, or other places like that. But I just think that if we can be, if we, if they can spend seven, three hundred thousand dollars here, three hundred ninety-four thousand dollars here, and uh, on things that that is not really concerning us, then how come they not? You know what? I've had a hard time. I was in a place and I got evicted because somebody stole money out and I got into it with them. And I would not apologize to them and pay their hospital bills, but they're in jail. They illegally evicted me. And it's really hard because if you're on a low income, people want twice the amount or three times the amount of the rent or, or and things of that nature and it's really hard. But you know what? I got one thing. I got my almighty God that helps me out and, 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 and confirms that it is gonna be okay. But I, I wish that our, our mayor, our, our politicians or something would come and spend an entire day out here or sleep out overnight for a couple of days and understand that just because we're out here don't mean we're all drug addicts or alcoholics or prostitutes or whatever. Sure enough, there are some professional bums out here, but there are some of us that are out here that are on hard times. And because of a couple of bad apples, they turn their ear and their eyes towards everybody. It's really hard. And, and I just want to give thanks to all those people that, that have a, 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 a caring and loving heart to come out and give us whatever it may be, a sandwich, a bologna, or bread, or, or whatever it may be. It is greatly, 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 greatly appreciated. So it's not to take away from those who are out there. It's just, it's, it's, uh, it's like I said, it's a battle and it's a struggle. And, and I just know that every day is another good day. Listen, I wake up every morning, giving the glory to God and singing a song to him in prayer. And that's exactly how we go to sleep, especially if you sleep in our little circle of family, whether it's race, creed, or color. It's not that, it's just a little circle of family. And we try to take care of each other and we just would hope that other people could open their eyes and see that um, some of the things that we go through on each and every day. We're one big family. And, and you know, and please nobody get this wrong, but you can be in a thousand dollar suit and a hundred dollar briefcase and seventeen hundred dollar shoes and ask for a nickel or a dime and you can get 50 cent or a dollar from somebody that's holding a cup before you can somebody that is, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. And and you know now, now, wait a minute, now you, I, I understand, I see, I, I weigh the side. I don't know what those individual people have been through, whether the house has been robbed or the car has been vandalized or uh, burglarized or anything, but it's unfair to label each and every individual male or female or child 
that it's out here because of what somebody else or one or two bad apples have done. So I understand sometimes where they can turn away and walk away. I can't do that. I and this gentleman walked into Burger King and shared a hamburger, a double cheeseburger. Because that's all the money we had. And the good Lord who uses other people. We walked out of a store and the young man said, a man said, sir, yes, sir. He said, here, I want you to have this and please get you something to eat and put $40 in our hand. Hold on. Okay. So there are people out there. 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 But you know, something together awesome. that day. You know what happened with that $40? That a good look. Everybody in our little circle. Yeah, there you go. Okay, because that's what we have to do. Okay, yeah. if we don't look after each other, Who else then we have a problem. It, yeah. I remember I had that guy asked me for some change and I gave him ten bucks, uh -huh. and he said, "Oh, good, now my friend can." That always yeah. impressed me that somebody with nothing but, so generous. But you know, it, it is absolutely that way. It's a blessing so, now. It is a so blessing. What you guys are doing right now may make a difference. Okay. Or maybe it's something that somebody needs to hear or somebody needs to open their eyes and understand that everybody out here is not robbing you, raping you, stealing you, killing you, or burglarizing your home or anything like that. A lot of us, and I am completely 100% visually impaired, and I dig in garbage cans to recycle so that I could get something to eat. Or as somebody walked off just yesterday with my bag, with all my medications, and now I have to hustle some money so that I can get my insulin, my seizure medication, my high blood pressure, my blood thinner, my oxygen, and all of these things like that. So if somebody could sit on the other side of the table sometime, maybe they would understand a little more. Once again, I'm not putting everybody down. It's just that it, it, sometimes their eyes need to be open. 